Salaf Lahiatin, good evening. This is BCN's News Bulletin for this Tuesday evening. Firstly, it was payday f today for public servants who finally got to see some of the much talked about pay increase. Premier Tokita Lungi had initially stated that government would consider increasing salaries of those below $10,000 by 15% and those above $10,000 by 10%. Looking at the new newer unified salary scale, the new step one or starting rate for public servants is now $12,000. For many who have been earning below the $10,000 mark, this would be a substantial increase. But looking at the figures and the new salary scale, one cannot help but notice the substantial increase to those earning $20,000 and above in comparison to those earning less than $20,000. For example, for someone in the new Grade 3 previously earning $20,251 will now be getting $23,439, which is an increase of over $3,000 or 15.7%. Whereas for someone in grade one, previously earning $14,502 would now be getting $16,384, which is an increase of just over $1,800 or 12.9%. Looking further up the scale in the new grade five, someone who previously was earning $36,050 would now be earning $41,759. That is an increase of $5,709 or 15.8%. So depending on which end of the scale you end up, this latest increase could either be a slight change or a substantial change. There have been mixed reactions from public servants as they mull over the figures, but the new Public Service Commission says the new salary scale has been devised based on a formula formula that is fair across the board. A bushfire in the Funuakula area has kept the new fire brigade occupied for the past day. Concerns were raised as the fire and smoke was seen to be getting closer to residential homes. The fire brigade were called in at 5 yesterday afternoon to assist and staff were stationed overnight to monitor the fire. It is unclear how the fire started, but it is ex suspected it may have gotten out of control due to extremely dry conditions the island is currently experiencing. The department is now cautioning members of the public not to burn fires. Vaitsavana Zero Degrees opened its doors for the first time last week with intentions of introducing healthy, naturally-based drinks without additives. According to Kenrick Viviani, the owner of Zero Degrees, this is an extension of his Vaitsavana business to incorporate nutritious drinks for people, but it will also reduce people's reliance on too much food and the ability to lose weight, one of the benefits from the new drink. He says the drinks are 97% fat-free and it helps that the drinks can also incorporate local fruits as a base. One supporter of the incentive said she could use the new drink as food as it is filling and that can substitute for food. BCN's crew also tried some of the Vaitsavana Zero Degree Smoothie-like drink and it has to be said the hype is true. So if you wish to try out the new healthy craze, they are located next to the Bond store in Alofi. Last week, a new beauty product brand was launched by one of the most beautiful women on the island with the launch of Hey Niwe. Hey Niwe was created by business duo Mrs. Tanya Rose Voice-Manavalui and her husband Imani, but the idea was thought of a few years ago. Hey Niwe is something that we have been wanting to do for a couple of years now. This idea seeded in 2007, but we haven't had the opportunity, as they say, there's times and seasons. So uh, this is the time for Hey Niwe, and um, these are the products that we have been able to bring out. We launched the Hey Niwe product, samples of the product, in October at the National Constitution Business Expo um, that was held up at Baliasi. Yeah. We've had a few stumbling blocks. Um, on the way getting it up. Uh, we, we started really putting some time into this um, from about August, September and were able to launch it, launch the samples in October. But with everything, um, ideas, they take time and as, as time goes, you know, you fine-tune fine, fine -tune it and yes, yeah. Tani says the main products are honey-based and is also for men that has many benefits. 
The name Hay is both feminine and masculine, with most of the products using local resources, but there are extra costs involved with bringing in some of the products. We have had some holdbacks with the freight and things like that, but um, what we have today is we've got uh, hand and body lotion, and we also have a face and hand cream. The cream uh, lotion is, is thicker than the, than the actual lotion. Mm. Uh, we also have, these are the masks, facial masks, and this is a 20 minute mask. And we've tried this out on um, many women and men um, and children because it's all natural so it's okay for the skin. And you put this on for 20 minutes and then you take it off after 20 minutes and then you, you should notice um, most of our results or comments from people is they found that it's more clear, clean and clearer and brighter um, and it has this real uh, radiant natural look. And we're working on some new essence uh, that would like to um, fragrant the, the products with. BCN's reporter was also able to try some of the products and the verdict was positive. More products are in development and on sale at Rocket Systems in the Luffy. Last Saturday, the crowds were drawn to Vaya as they celebrated their second village show day. Many visiting families and friends made the special trip to Vaya for breakfast, picking up some of the special delicacies. Despite the various events on the island, the village council decided to proceed with their plans for the show to go ahead and were thankful for the effort put forward by the village residents. One of the highlights for the day was the village gardening project. The garden was open to the public for viewing and in the spirit of the show day, visitors were allowed to help harvest some of the vegetables to take home for consumption, a good reminder of the generosity of the people of Vaya. The show day concluded just before midday with an all-out feast for invited guests, leaving many looking forward to the next one next year. And that concludes our BCN News Bulletin for tonight. Don't forget to tune in to our final news bulletin this coming Thursday.